whilst trying to be pregnant it's very very important it's not it's not um like you just have to okay say i would get ready or i will stop all of these things when i am ready to um have a baby or when i am actually pregnant or when i'm actually feeding the baby with the breast milk no you have to make a decision to actually try as much as possible to um, pay attention maybe 75 to 80 percent of your food should be of a natural source it shouldn't be something that harms goes into your body and harms you and harms the baby or harms you and harms the egg that would eventually inshallah one day become an embryo and then becomes eventually becomes a baby right so we have to pay attention 80 percent at least of your food should be of natural sources and then maybe the 20 percent not really the 20 maybe the 10 percent should be of um whatever you like right and then actually the 10 percent too should be um the in between it is either healthy or it is not it is it is either maybe in the middle right so um yeah so that's why i am really 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 motivated all the time to share recipes um to share healthy recipes to you and hopefully inshallah you will try them and and it's going to be helpful to you if you are somebody who does not really um cook at all from home um your food is always um um like you buy your food from from outside you should try at least maybe one time out of the week choose just one day out of the week to try as much as possible to make something from home and see how it's gonna taste see how your taste bud is gonna adapt to the taste of the food that you make from home or even if you are somebody who makes food from home and you use ingredients that are not supporting to the health of you and your baby you have to like make sure that at least one time out of the week try it just try it or even if you can just devote the whole seven days of the week but one one meal of the day like one meal probably breakfast especially breakfast is very very important when you are trying to be pregnant when you are pregnant and when you are postpartum so maybe you choose um, um breakfast and then stick to it your breakfast must be you're gonna tell yourself your breakfast must be healthy your breakfast must be nutritious and it, it must support you and your growing baby or the baby inshallah that is gonna happen very soon right um and then go from there right and then go from there so this is this is very easy recipe um it's not even a recipe okay it is just a drink i am very very hot and i like um to be drinking consistently during the day to help me to hydrate so i'm sharing it with you and as you can see or as you already know when i'm making life i like to educate as well as share the recipes so that's why i started my video with some sort of education and some sort of information so um it is um a recipe that contains um watermelon okay this is watermelon that i have used half of and it, it's been in the fridge for some few days and i'm gonna use some frozen strawberry okay and i'm gonna also use some mint and some ginger this is very very good especially when you are in your first trimester and you are not able to contain anything you are not able to eat anything you barely would be <laughs> you barely able to like really even if you eat you can't keep it maybe you vomiting or you feel nauseated this is a very 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 helpful 
drink to make okay so i call it watermelon refresher you can call it anyhow you want so especially with the ginger ginger is very helpful for nausea and vomiting it has antibacterial antifungal everybody knows about that mint is also excellent it is one ginger is a herb it's a spice and it's it's considered to be safe during pregnancy and mint as well is considered to be safe during pregnancy okay so mint is very helpful as well for nausea and it's also helpful for a whole host of things but remember if you have if you are pregnant and you have um you are experiencing some heartburn make sure that you don't include mint or anything that contains peppermint in it because it's going to aggravate um, the symptom of heartburn as well okay so mint and ginger excellent i i just love it and then date i mentioned about date last time when i was i made a video but date if you're not including date in your diet if you're pregnant or even before you get pregnant listen this 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 thing even though this i mean it's 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 high in sugar it's basically like um sweetened stuff um natural <laughs> natural sweetened stuff right but the sweet the sugar in it is not um harmful okay it is not harmful to you it is rather helpful and supporting and going to going back to what i said last time regarding my regard uh, last time in my video i might um link it below in the description box or i i will link it in the description box is date uh in regards to preparation of birth so if you are preparing to birth like you are in your last weeks of pregnancy 36 from 36 weeks or 37 weeks 38 weeks or even maybe earlier 31 weeks pregnant please don't sleep on this include date in your nutrition especially if you are trying to go the physiological way of birthing that is to birth the way allah created us to birth okay the way allah and our body as women enjoy the way it's supposed to be okay that is to birth your baby um um physiologically vaginally um without any without a lot of intervention maybe minimal intervention try as much as possible to add date in your nutrition regimen why because date is again and again shown by a lot of research to aid in making your labor shorter to also soften your cervix and make the birthing um experience or the birthing actually birthing your baby easier it lowers it reduces the amount of time you're gonna labor so possibly you're gonna labor for 36 hours five hours ten hours only allah knows but when you add date in your nutrition especially around the 36 weeks the 31 weeks 32 weeks 30 and upwards right it's gonna inshallah help you and again we have the proof not only from research we have the proof in islam Islam teaches us or tells us that not even like a sunnah. It is in the Quran with the story of Maryam radiallahu anha, the mother of Isa radiallahu anhu, right? The mother of Jesus. 
the mother of um, Isa, the prophet of Isa, prophet Isa. Excuse me for me saying the mother of Jesus. Yeah, so prophets, for, for the folks who are watching me who are Christians, um, yeah, Isa Ridalau Anhu is um, in Christianity that is um, Jesus, right? So Isa Ridalau Anhu, his mom was ordered by Allah to shake a palm tree and get some date drop from the palm tree and eat it while she was in labor. So that is to tell us that date is such a powerhouse of energy, such a powerhouse of oxytocin. And oxytocin is the one of the main hormone that drives labor, okay, that drives birth. Oxytocin, when you are in, in, in the process of birthing your baby, you release a lot of oxytocin naturally. And your baby as well releases a lot of oxytocin and that makes the, the, the birthing when it comes to a certain stage, maybe the transition stage or the, 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 um, the last stage of labor to be a little bit not overwhelming. It reduces the pain. It makes it a little bit not too much of you can bear it anymore, you know. So oxytocin is considered to be the love hormone. Okay. So even not in um, birthing, during um, intimacy, when you are happy, you release oxytocin. So Allah, in His own wisdom, made oxytocin to be released by the baby. Because only Allah knows what the baby is experiencing whilst birthing, during the birthing, um, um, birthing time, okay, whilst you are birthing your baby. And only Allah knows too what you are going through. Even though you realize it, you feel it, you are in that um, experience, you are in that spiritual um world but allah knows better than what you know you don't know what is happening to you it's just it's it's happening but you really have no control right so only allah knows what is happening and oxytocin is one of the hikmah of allah that makes it a little enjoyable a little you know like that and then when you give your when you give birth oxytocin is being released even in abundance a whole bunch and that's when you start to feel the love that's where you where, what when you start to feel like oh my god where's my baby i love this baby so much that you cannot even get enough of that is the power of oxytocin and then oxytocin too is also helpful when you it's also helpful for preg um breastfeeding so without breast without oxytocin a lot of the times breastfeeding does not work okay so you have to release a lot of oxytocin in order for your body also to release the prolactin that produces the milk the breast milk and in order for your body to release the other hormones that all support the production of breast milk all right so oxytocin is very important and date naturally helps the production of oxytocin in our body so it is it is really a big win and um it's really good i'm gonna make a video like a whole video about how date is helpful for birth for birth and also it's helpful during pregnancy but there is a disclaimer as i am um saying that you should add date some people who some women who are pregnant also have the condition also called gestational gestational diabetes okay um so this is a disclaimer if you are in that category you don't have to really go on and say okay because halima said it i'm gonna just go ahead and add date and eat it and eat it and eat it no 
consult with your doctor make sure that your doctor is on point and on board with it and how much and how often you're gonna eat it your doctor is gonna tell you okay so this is a general recommendation that i'm making if you are a low risk pregnancy you don't have any problem with sugar spikes you you have a balanced meal all the time then yes this is excellent and research also um the amount is to eat six date a day when you are preparing for labor right sometimes it's difficult to eat six date so this drink is like you going ahead to add it in you get it from the drink you're gonna get it from maybe some other stuff and all of those things add up right and um rasul in islam also recommends that eating seven ajwa day to day is protective for us from um poison and from other stuff right so six ajwa dates versus seven i mean six dates versus seven ajwa dates and we are muslim so we have to go with the odd number right so just in case you are watching me and you are a muslim um six hundred dates that's what the research says but seven is what the sunnah says and then going with the the odd number is preferable okay um but any other thing any other um whatever you consider is good this is maju date is very chunky it's big so it's really like a big um dates to eat okay so if you want you can just eat three of this and that should suffice the three the six actual the six dates recommended by research all right so going ahead moving on ahead i have some lemon here lemon is really 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 helpful as well with nausea so this is kind of hydrating drink as well as nausea drink how about that okay so um lemon is excellent and it has a whole lot of properties even outside pregnancy and um i mentioned about the strawberry strawberry contains a whole lot of vitamins vitamin c um it's very helpful for your immune system especially when you are pregnant you need to have a very strong immune system so eating fruits that contain vitamins that supports the immune system is very excellent okay it also has fiber fiber is also supportive for the gut um especially with constipation with hemorrhoids if you are experiencing that during pregnancy it's really helpful to add some kind of some amount of fiber in your diet and possibly fiber eating fiber just eating food all the time it's hard for you but when you add all of this stuff in one drink or in one salad bowl or in one meal it's really helpful you're going to get all of those stuff that is essential that are essential actually for your pregnancy for your fertility and for your baby and then if you are breastfeeding it's also very very helpful as breastfeeding moms really al almost always feel thirsty so if you feel thirsty and you drink just water and you still feel th thirsty this is a great way to like really hydrate you because your cells need the hydration your cells need the minerals okay and then all of this um, ingredients that i'm going to add in this recipe contain excellent excellent minerals um the watermelon it's also helpful um for the baby's growth okay um because it has some some nutrients that your baby needs and um because it's high in water as well it's very helpful with um creating a whole bunch of amniotic, amniotic fluid because you need water to create um, am amniotic fluid right you need to be hydrating yourself and then salt right and then protein right so um yeah 
so enough with the talking enough with the education i'm going ahead to start the recipe so first what i do is i'm gonna cut the watermelon but before i do that i will um bring the camera to focus on what i'm gonna do so that you don't see me you only see the the action <laughs> okay yep so i think we're good to go so i'm gonna cut the watermelon into chunks and then i will um put it in the blender okay bring the blender a little closer so i put the blender right here and i add it in If you, you are watching me and you have any question, please put it in the comment section and then I will answer it. If not, when you watch the replay and you have any question, let me know as well. I'll do my best to answer. Then if I don't answer as fast as you want, just have patience. okay so i added this in i'm gonna actually make two um batches um of this drink so i'm gonna add the strawberry so that rest of the watermelon i will just make the drink without adding strawberry so i'll add the mint in and then the ginger And then the squeeze of lemon. I have a video that I pre-recorded on my video tab that I used um, that I used water I used coconut water and blended the drink but this time i don't have coconut water and as you may already know coconut water is really also very hydrating so um adding coconut water is also very 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 good idea but i don't have coconut water so i am somebody who goes through my coconut water like <laughs> very very fast so um i don't have that so this is what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use some water over here i use water just regular water because um watermelon has a lot of water if you add too much water, it's going to be too liquidy and you might not like really enjoy the taste. So make sure you might want to just not add water. If your watermelon is already watery, okay, it's not really hard. It has a lot of water in it. So you might decide not to add water. Okay, so I will go ahead and blend. I hope you see what I'm doing. If not, I'll just raise this one up a bit. And then I will blend. It's gonna make some noise. So bear with me with that, okay?
I would blend it again because of the strawberry okay so one more time just so that I get it very smooth I'm now going to sieve this I'm now going to strain it so making sure that I blend it to be smooth and enjoyable is important so I'm gonna blend it one more time <laughs> enough with the noise um, but actually the noise is an important part of this um, video this recipe so I hope you guys bear with me with that so here we have the blended juice so I also forgot to mention that we could you could easily easily add some banana if you want to add banana and it's going to taste amazing and thick and filling, it's going to be so enjoyable, especially when you put it in the fridge and it cools down. Uh, it's really good. I wouldn't advise to add ice to this um, like before before you drink it like whilst you drink it you add ice i wouldn't advise but you could easily add the ice whilst blending so it's sort of becomes like um slushing okay but if you add ice whilst you're drinking it the ice is gonna melt and it's gonna be like a whole lot liquidy and um that in my opinion i don't like it i want to maintain the taste but if you like it, you can try it. If you like it, it's fine as well. So I will move the focus of the of this so that you see what I'm doing with the pouring. So let me open it. You see what I got? This did not blend. Put it back here. So this is what I got. Let me use this usually it becomes for me but i would lose the form if i pour it out i'm gonna you see how thick it is it's not even like too much thick but if you want it to make if you want it to be thicker you can just go ahead and add the banana and then a lot of people like banana taste so it's even a plus and with the banana containing potassium <laughs> it's really like helpful with the leg, leg crumbs with the restless legs whilst pregnant it's really truly helpful so and then also um helping to um helping supporting your blood pressure as well so when you're pregnant and you find out that you have preeclampsia, you have to really pay attention to the kind of food you're eating, as well as your hydration, as well as the protein that you are adding into your meal. If you are eating enough protein, it's very, very important. And then also the minerals. That is the key. The mineral is very, very important. Potassium is especially supporting for blood pressure. And preeclampsia, if you don't know already, it is the um, it is um, blood it is 
pregnancy related blood pressure so um somebody who is um blood pressure free you don't have any blood pressure before you went into pregnancy and then whilst you are pregnant maybe around the 21 or 25 weeks or so you started to have high blood pressure that is a sign of preeclampsia or that is the onset of preeclampsia and you have to pay attention let your doctor know because that can be very very um um scary and dangerous for you and the baby as well um it preeclampsia is very serious it can cause um preterm labor it can cause a whole bunch of stuff that we don't want to happen whilst you're pregnant so when you find out especially some women who don't um go for prenatals visits they go going they don't go and see the doctor it's very important that you have the blood pressure uh, machine sometimes once in a while you check your blood pressure to find out if it is excessively high if it is excessively high than usual then check it again and see if it is like maybe of over the top please seek help seek support and ask if you can go and see the doctor for the doctor to help you and also make sure that you eat a whole bunch of food that have um potassium in it that have a lot of minerals in it um, magnesium potassium all of those things are helpful okay so this is the drink very very easy okay i will usually like drink it as soon as i make it or i will just put it in the fridge for at least three to four days it keeps very well because of the lemon and because of the ginger it keeps really really good you don't have to worry about oh i have to drink it just right now or i have to drink it the next two days no this is gonna keep even if you add more ginger that is even better okay for your nausea for your uh, for, for to help to preserve it even longer so this is the recipe okay this is the drink it's absolutely amazing all right so i think i should just end it here i'm going to go ahead and make the the batch that i wouldn't add any strawberry in it because my girls like it without strawberry so i'm going ahead to do exactly what i did adding the watermelon the ginger the mint and the date and the lemon without the strawberry i might or might not add the banana so this is what i have for you today i hope you learned one or two if you did please don't forget to share this with other sisters who might need it or who truly need it okay there are sisters around who actually have not discovered a very educative educational um platform okay educational channel and they are really in need of information because information is power when you have good information reliable information um it is very beneficial and it makes you to make informed decisions right so i would appreciate it if you share my videos you share this particular one especially if you join live or if you watch it later please don't forget to share it and if you are not subscribed yet please make it a point to not forget to click that black little um button and subscribe and join the family i have a whole lot of videos that i am planning and i'm working on improving my content presenting it in such a professional way and fun way um yeah so may allah help me with that i am praying so hard so that i get to understand all the gist of creating and and um making videos all right and then also sharing my knowledge
inshallah so i hope to see you soon inshallah i will try as much as possible to make these videos all my life is going to be a lot of my life is going to be a recipe sharing recipe sharing um food and nutrition and the rest of the pre-recorded videos are going to be like educational videos inshallah so i hope you you like it you enjoyed it and you have learned one or two until i see you next time inshallah be in the best of health and iman and stay warm i mean stay cool <laughs> because it's very very hot over here outside is like almost 85 degrees and i think it's hot okay it's hot all right so that's it for now inshallah stay bet stay well and be well assalamu alaikum